no geek comics what's up bud how you doing it's fine we're, we're gonna be here a little late today so it's not an issue yeah you will we'll, we'll, we will be here a little late about this collection and it's killing me because he's telling me how expensive it is and how crazy this collection is and I've been trying to blow him off for the last couple months man just not taking a hint so I'm gonna take him in today we'll look at this collection bad comic etiquette kind of guy yeah yo man think I spoke to you about my comics oh yeah um where, where are they in my car let me grab them okay thanks all right dude I'm coming back here I gotta see this <laughs> I'm excited, it's his cousin's collection. His cousin's collection, huh? I guess so, that's what he said. Man, the books, dude. I gotta give you the store on them. Okay. These are, these are some cool brown pieces. My cousin had these for a really long time. Sure. Hand them down to me. Um, I'm gonna make it find a new home. Okay. Um, I, I'd like to maybe trade for something better, maybe a whole point one if you have one. Okay. They're super minty, they're beautiful books. Yeah, you got him in a nice binder here. Okay. Yeah, got him, man. All right, I'll, I'll take care of him in just a minute. You said you wanted to look around the shop? Oh, yeah, do you mind? Thank you, man. It's just back there. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Russ, what did he bring you? He said they were minty fresh. Oh, my God. Like, really? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. It was like his, his cousin. Oh, there's a gold one. Oh, okay. So those are cool, but I think they're like six bucks. And, uh, well, I, uh. Can't wait to make him an offer. <laughs> Dude, I've been looking for these books forever. Everywhere I can to find them, and I never see them. Thank you, man. Let me know what I owe you. Um, yeah, I mean, these are these are, these are from our, you know, three dollars or five for ten section. So, uh, I don't know, forty bucks. I don't know if I can do that. Um, Dude, I, that that's like a dollar a book. I'm giving it to you for half price. Yeah, but I feel like I'm doing you a favor. Um, how about 12 bucks? No. Let me just get this guy. And, yeah, let me get this guy. Uh, do you mind putting these back? Sure. Cool, what do I get for this one? Uh, a dollar. Awesome, you, you take right bird? Uh, just take the book. Really? Thank you, man. Good. Ryan, what do you have there? I have a very heavy box of Comic Karma. What is Comic Karma? Comic Karma is comics that came from you fine people. That's right, if you look here on the back of it, it actually says Comic Karma 7-8. What does that mean, Ryan? That's when we opened these books live on camera. So if you get that on one of your uh, mystery mail call books, you can go back to that date and watch the live stream that Tom and myself did and uh, see where they came from. Yeah. Sometimes there's notes, sometimes there's a little bit of a history. Sometimes it travels from across the world to end up in your collection. Uh, see these right here? Those are done mail calls. See, it's, it's closed off. The, the top of this book should be a wretch's one because we did a Peach Momoko variant. So this is the mail call. Now let's put in some karma. Look at all this. That's generosity. That's what it looks like. All right, let's, uh, the last thing that goes up, of course, we're gonna make sure all these people get some extra little goodies courtesy of the fam. And then I'm gonna make Ryan do all the work and bag these up. Yay!
socks on the t-shirt and what's my dad getting it's a oh check this out oh what come on now did you not know that yet? i know we totally need to get him the puerto rico just lead america variant oh hell yeah man dude that's sweet <laughs> Jeff, what are you looking at? I'm looking at Hope 340. Why? I swear this has got a little bit of color touch on this. Color touch? See, the weird thing about that is you get a collection like this in, and I don't think anyone cares enough to color touch. This is a one-person collection that someone owned it long enough. If you look at the rest of the collection, like, it, it, it would be so out of the ordinary to have a single book color touched, and that be the book that they did it to. I only say that because, A, it looks like the shine isn't the same, and it should be a bigger, more of a white spot there. It just doesn't look right. Sure. But I've had it, like, Spy 300, the same time frame. I sure. I touched my Spy 300. You know, I still have it. It's right. There's a thumbprint on it, and you're like, oh, someone oh, took man. a Sharpie. I wanted my black cover to look beautiful, I so I took a black Sharpie That's, to it. You know? Yo, Ryan, what are you doing? Popping on labels so these uh, mail calls go to the right place. Ooh, we're sending you your mail calls. And there's a lot of them. Comic fam. They're on their away. Well, yeah, we get into some shenanigans every month, don't we? Comic fam, enter to win this giveaway, courtesy of the legend, Bill Sinkovich. He sent in a bunch of posters, and you can win this gorgeous magic from New Mutants poster if you comment, like, and subscribe. A big shout out to S.Z. Vincent. You correctly guessed the number of peaches in last month's assembly video. Make sure to contact us, and we're going to send you some cool stuff. And got to tell you about some dope artists. Big shout out to Deviant Apple over on Instagram. Esteban is a fantastic artist. This guy's line work is impeccable. And you know we are big supporters of independent comic books over here. So when I have an opportunity to help my buddy who created the Sab out and hook up every member of the community with a gorgeous print, you know I'm gonna do it. And this month, everybody got one. And we gotta give a big, big thank you to Aaron Lambert Art. Follow him on Instagram. He's the one who created this amazing child Mandalorian print that everyone's freaking out about in their July mail call. We'd send out prints every single month and it's courtesy of just very talented individuals just like these two guys. Make sure to follow them on Insta. I'll put their info in the description. And then of course, as always, geek responsibly and I'll see you next month or even sooner than that.